pretty cool if we can just take a data set train it in just a few clicks and then act like have a computer vision model that can run optic detection and this right here we're going to try out the yolo 11 model train it on a medical pill data set so basically just have a small data set that we can use for proofs of concept you can have your own data set and so on we also have videos on how you can label your own data generate your data set so we get to this point but we also have a ton of different data sets available from the ultralytics data set hub you can use it directly out of the box. I'm going to show you inside a Google Colab notebook, but this data set here is very good for just showing a proof of concept. We just want to detect a bunch of different medical pills. So this is a very nice one for the pharmaceutical sector. So if you go inside the Autolytics documentation, go inside our data sets tab, then we can see we have all these data sets available. If you just specify the YAML file, as I'm going to do in a Google Colab notebook, it will download it automatically to your computer. So in just a few clicks and probably in 10, 15 minutes, you can spin up a whole computer vision proof of concept. Over here to the left, we can see we have the data sets for detection, segmentation, post estimation, and classification. We have other videos where we cover all of these different aspects and how you can set up and what the differences are so let's go inside we have the medical pills we have a training set 92 images each annotated with the class pill so we only have one class and we're just going to detect a pill in images we have a validation set of only 23 images so this is a very small data set but this just shows that with ultralytics yolo 11 we don't really need much data to be able to train an initial model of course if you want to do it put it into production and so on and detect all different types of pills you definitely need more data but just with a few hundred images you can act like get very good results we can read about the applications pharmaceutical sorting ai research and development digital inventory systems so this is the data set yaml file that is basically just going to show the path train test and validation split and again, we don't really have anything for a test split. We have one class, which is the pill, and we have the URL here for downloading the data set automatically. This is how we can use it, but let's just jump into a Google Colab notebook and see how we can do it inside code instead. These are just some sample images and annotations. So this is the pills that we want to detect. Let's just jump straight into a Google Colab notebook. This is a very good resource if you want to train models on free GPU resources. I'm going to train and change the runtime type here. We can use the T4, L4. You can also use the pro version of Google Colab. So this is pretty nice. And again, you can just get access to a GPU. It will train the model significantly faster. So just connect to the runtime. We're going to spin up a GPU here. And then you can read about all the stuff here in the start. But first of all, the data structure, we already covered that. We have the different applications. This is the exact same thing as inside the documentation. So it should be fairly straightforward to follow. First of all, we need to pip install Autolytics. If you run into any errors, if you're training locally, Google Colab, whatever environment, again, if you run into any errors, it's most likely because you don't have Autolytics installed or you just need to upgrade the package. So with the nearest available one, we have the YOLO 11 model. We're connected to the runtime. We can now just run this block of code. After that, we can see our requirements YAML file. And you can also go in and run a command here called NVIDIA SMI. And then you can actually see all the details about your GPU. So that's also a pretty cool feature. We can see we have 15 gigabytes of RAM. We have a Tesla T4 should be somewhere around here. There we go. So this is also very useful information, just making sure that you have a GPU available. When we train with Ultralytics, when we use the Ultralytics framework, it's automatically going to detect if a GPU is available. So this again, this is just a data YAML file. It's going to do it automatically when we just specify it down here as our data. So the only thing that we have to do now Either if you want to train it for detection, segmentation, classification, post estimation, we just need to have our data set in the correct format. And then we can run this model.train on the model instance that we are choosing. So now we're just going to go with YOLO 11 nano model, pretty simple use case. And we also only have around 100 images that we want to train on. So we're loading a pre trained model. This is already trained on the Cobra data set. So it's like thousands of tens of thousands of images that we train a base model on. And then we go in and fine tune it on our own data set later on here. 
So we load in the base model, then we're going to train the model on this specific data set. It will download automatically. We have 20 epochs, so this is just how many iterations do we, do we want to have our data set pass through our model. Specified image size, we also have a other bunch of different stuff with bad size and so on. You can find all the arguments inside the also latest documentation. We also have training videos that is going over like all the arguments, all the training steps and so on, all the high parameters that you're going to tune and also all the output results if you want to go even more into details. This is very important so you can get the best model results before you put them into production. So right now we can just run this block of code. We don't have to do anything else. Always good to know what's going on under the hood and so on. So it's really good to have the explanation, know what is actually going on, what is a pre-trained model, what is a fine-tuned, why do we fine-tuning, what is number of epochs and so on, instead of just blindly using it because then we run into errors once we want to compare models, high parameter tuning and so on to get the best possible results. So it's on downloading the data set here automatically. If we go inside the folder view, we can now see we have our data sets, medical pill, we have our training and validation split, and also our YAML file. We have our runs where we're going to have all the output results after training. So it's setting up everything automatically, only one line of code, and we have our training started, one epoch, and it's going to run through 20 epochs. Here at the end, we're going to get the mean error position, we're going to get the precision recall and so on, and we want those to go up, and we want the losses to go down. We have other videos going way more into details about what these metrics are, what to look out for, and also diving into the details with the output graphs in just a second. So when our model is actually done training, I have a video that we're going to pass it through as well. So I've just uploaded it here and I'm going to just going to pull it over so we can see it. So this video here, we're just going to run the pill detection model that we're training now. So we can see if we're able to detect these pills in this video, even though it's rotating relatively fast. So I'm just uploading the model here or the video while our model is training and it goes pretty fast with the Autolytics framework. After it's done, it's going to run the validation and we'll be able to see the final results. We have 400 Im instances in total for our validation. We have very good precision. Ideally, you want to have it one, but that's pretty much impossible. But 98.7 or like 98.7 is very high. Also, the recall, mean error position, pretty much perfect. We pretty much detect all the pills, even when we have like very high confidence scores, up to 95% here in this metric. For the inference, 1.5 milliseconds inference times it takes to run on this NVIDIA T4 GPU. Here we have some output. This is basically just an image, but I'm going to show you act like running our model. So once it's done training, we can go inside our trains directory. We have all our different curves here. We can go and take a look at our position recall curve. Ideally, we want to have it all the way up to one. This is pretty much perfect pretty much overfitting this model here to this specific data. If you want a more general one, we need to train it on more data with more variation and so on. So that definitely make sure that you take that into account. This is just for proof of concept and fine tuning and model specifically for this data. We can also pull up the confusion matrix. Doesn't really make sense when we only have one class, but again, we can see we have everything over here to the left. Another good one I usually take a look at it is results.png. So it's just all the training graphs. So we can see if they're actually increasing or decreasing over time. We want our loss to go down and our mean error positions and all the precision recalls to go up. We want to convert before we have actually finalized the training. So if it actually hasn't converged yet, if it's still going up, we need to train our model for more epochs. Another one here is to go down and take a look at our validation batch. So this is just images that the model has never seen before or been trained on. So this is our validation image. It looks very good. We're pretty much detecting all the pills. If you want to run inference, we can go down and find the best model. So inside our weights, we have our best. We copy the path and then we can just directly swap it out. If you want to run it locally, right click, download, and then you can throw it into your own Python script or whatever you're going to use for this model that you have trained. So now let's just run this. We take our best weights and we use an example image from Autolytics. The results are saved into runs that take predict. So if we take this folder, now we have predict folder and we have this sample JPEG file where we have to take all these pills. Even the ones here blurred out, we still have very high confidence score and very good results. You can also export the model. So now it's trained, we can export into our specific framework if you want to optimize it to run on NVIDIA hardware 
open window for Intel hardware and so on. You can read all about it here, but we have videos covering all of it as well. So definitely check that out. Just need to grab it here, throw it in the best model, export it into ON and Next, and that's pretty much it. This is how easy it is to use the Also Leaks framework together with model training and all that. It is very awesome. If you go back here again, we can also just directly throw in our video. So we have this one, we copy the path, throw it in here. We're going to set save equal to true. We can also set show if you're running in a local environment and it's able to open up a video frame or a window. There we go, it's gonna process the video. You can see it processes like all the frames. You can see how many pills it detects, but also the inference speed, so around 25, 30 milliseconds per image. So it'll probably just take a few minutes here or like a few seconds to process this whole video. It's going to save the results and we can run the video. So this is pretty much how easy it is to set up a quick POC on an initial data set. You can use your own data set. Again, you can get away with only like 100, a few hundred images and you have a computer vision model up and running. You can export it, use it in your own applications and projects. So there's pretty much no excuses when you're using Ultra Linux to go in and explore computer vision, figure out what it is, what are the capabilities and start solving problems out in the real world. So in just a second here, we're done with the frame processing and we will get our output video. So that will be in our predict two. We have our video. So now we can see it has been saved in here. I'm just going to download the video and then I'll show you here in the overlay. So let's run the video and let's take a look at the results. They're spinning around these pills. We're able to take them. This is act like a very good model. Pretty much once we can see it, it also detects it. It pretty much doesn't miss anything. This is how easy it is to set up a proof of concept. I hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Definitely go ahead and test it out on your own data set or use this medical pill data set as well. Hope to see you guys in one of the upcoming videos. Until then, happy training.